What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Let me just go ahead and address the no shave November thing. Yes, I think I failed miserably at it. I actually went 11 days without shaving guys and it was pretty scruffy looking. Then the weekend came. I actually had a photo shoot on Sunday and I wanted to look like myself. So yes, I groomed myself. I groomed my face. I trimmed the beard down and yeah, I guess technically I failed at No Shave November. At least I have kind of a shadow left though, so maybe it can grow from here. We'll see, I'm not making any guarantees though, but yeah, I guess that disqualifies me from the No Shave November. I failed, my bad. Okay, so let's move on to today's video. My last video, I talked about drama on social media and I asked the question, why do people put their drama on social media? I asked for my subscribers to possibly comment if they had experience with this, if they've taken drama to social media, why did they do it and did it make it better or make the problem go away? So none of you put your experiences that you've had on the comments section. Nobody wanted to share their experience about drama on social media, but I did get some pretty interesting comments. Some of these are kind of long, so I might paraphrase them, but I'm going to go through a few of them quickly. And I only chose the interesting comments, not the, the stupid ones, I guess. I just, I don't want to waste your time with stupid comments, guys. So yeah, I only chose the interesting ones. So here we go. Jennifer Gerardo, she says, we live in a day and age where people use social media as a front. It gives people a false sense of courage and a certain level of anonymity. But I also think people just want to be heard. And clicks and likes make people feel important and like you said, validated. It can also be a lack of an outlet in which to channel your frustrations into. But in my opinion, it always makes it worse. Not everything needs to be said and much less typed. Once it's posted, it's out there forever and will follow you forever no matter how irrelevant you might think it is at the time, especially if you have a big following. So yeah, I do agree with a lot of what Jennifer said, especially the part about feeling validated. And I will get back to that point. Okay, the next comment is from Snowboo2008. She says, I'm from the old school. The less I know about someone, the better in regards to social media drama. Also, the advice I give friends is for them to not get upset, but prove them wrong. Education is the great equalizer. Thanks for your comments, Nobu2008. The main thing I took from her comment is to not get upset and prove people wrong. So guys, if you want to get back at somebody, don't let them bother you. Just live your life and be happy. And I promise you everything will work out. <laughs> don't take things personally that are on the internet and trust me guys i've had plenty of bad things said about me on the internet i don't take it personally i just continue living my life and i'm always happy because of it so that's the that's the main thing i, I took from her last comment i'll read today is from terrence flowers i did reply to his comment so i'll read his comment and my response terrence flowers says real talk weren't you involved in an issue with another social media influencer is this a passive aggressive swipe at him or are you serious this seems like the pot calling the kettle black. I responded to Terrence and I said, Terrence, real talk. I have never participated in any social media drama. I never have, I never will. I don't do the passive aggressive shot taking. As I said in my video, I prefer having face-to-face -face conversations. So guys, let me just add on to my comment that I had to Terrence. You will never ever see me get into a back and forth with anyone on social media. You will never ever ever hear me saying anything bad about someone else especially someone that I know on social media. That's just not how I conduct my business. That's not how I conduct myself. So yeah, anytime I've ever had any kind of drama in my life, guys, I don't take it to social media. That's just not what I do. I did go over that in my last video. To me, it just makes things worse. If I have any kind of issues, I prefer having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone and trying to work the problem out. That's just the best way to do it, in my opinion. So yeah, Terrence, I'm afraid you were wrong on that, man, but I do appreciate you watching my video, man, and leaving a comment. Appreciate that. So guys, I wanna go back to Jennifer's comment about feeling validated because that's the main reason I wanted to make this video today. In my opinion, people seek validation from social media in all areas of their life. If they're on a fitness journey, a lot of times they'll post progress pics so people can make them feel validated about the progress that they've made. So people can say, yeah, yeah, you're losing weight, you did a good job, and that'll give them motivation to keep going. A lot of times people will seek validation about their children. They'll post accomplishments that their children had, and they'll want people to applaud them and say, yeah, yeah, you have a great kid. Yes, you're doing a great job. I understand how it can help psychologically sometimes for a lot of people just to applaud what you're doing and, and give you a, a sense of validation. I get that but I think that people rely a little bit too heavily on social media. 
and a lot of times it can it can backfire on you because if social media doesn't have your back and they will turn their back on you really quickly trust me on this then it can affect you negatively as well it can really hit you hard emotionally and so my my advice to you guys is to don't seek validation from the internet don't seek validation from social media because when you think about it guys it's not usually it's not the people you see every day it's not people that you interact with face to face on a day to day basis it's just a bunch of strangers or it's a bunch of acquaintances that you don't talk to every day so why seek validation from those people you shouldn't do that my advice to you is to seek validation in other places like your best friends and your family the people who are going to be there for you and love you unconditionally those people are going to love you no matter what your following is, whether you're in shape or out of shape, no matter how much money you make, doesn't matter what kind of car you drive, what kind of clothes you wear, or anything like that, they're just gonna love you just because you're you. Those are the people's opinions that you should care about. That's where you should seek validation. But even above that, seek validation from within. And I did talk about this a few videos ago, and I strongly believe it. I believe that how you feel about yourself is most important, but other than yourself, just seek it from your loved ones, the ones that are gonna love you unconditionally. Don't worry about what the internet thinks about you and especially don't drag a bunch of strangers into the issues that you have in your life if you are having any kind of drama or issues because I promise you, it's probably just gonna make it even more chaotic and it's gonna make it a giant mess. So yeah guys, I hope you would take that advice and run with it and I hope this video has been helpful this is a very interesting subject and like I said, it's very relative because it happens every day and people seem to keep making this mistake and taking their drama to social media and I hope you don't make that mistake in the future after watching this video or at least watch this video before you do it because like I said, in my opinion, it's just going to make it worse. It's not going to help the situation. All right, guys, it's almost time for me to leave. I got to go back to the gym. I have clients this evening, but I want to thank you for watching my video. If you left a comment and I read it, I appreciate you guys leaving a comment on my video. I promise another video is coming very soon. I, I believe I got this video up in less than a week and I hope to do the same for the next one. So I promise I'll keep the vlogs coming, guys. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you on the next one.